Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use our crypto arbitrage program for latency trading. First, let's add a new session by clicking on sessions and then on add. So one session should be for Binance. You should select Deep API both for trading and for prices. So let's do that. And we now need to enter the API key and the secret key for this exchange. Now you need to load the symbols. So select the symbols file and click on load from file. And this is for pricing. You should also do the same thing for the trading connection under the trading symbols tab. Like that. So now that we've created our Binance connection, we should also add a fast feeds connection. For fast feed connections, we recommend using uh, Huobi. Uh, you don't need to have an account with this exchange, so just select uh, the API type and you can enter anything you want for the API key and the uh, secrets key once you've selected the API type. That's because for this exchange, you don't need an API key to receive quotes. You don't need an API key to receive quotes uh, with Huobi. So we'll just enter that. We load the symbols file the same way we did it for Binance. And we go to pricing and to trading and we select the symbols file to load the symbols. So we have the standard symbols loaded for Huobi and for Binance, but we will also need to trade Bitcoins against altcoins. So we need to set that up. We can use Bitcoins as a deposit at Binance. We can only do that in Bitcoins. And now to find the altcoins that we need and their names, we use the crypto trader software. So let's go there. Uh, by using the filter in the software, we can find any altcoin we want. And the software will, will also provide the exact symbol name as it is used by Binance and Huobi. Now, bear in mind that exchanges can have different symbols for the same cryptocurrency. In this case, uh, Binance uses uh, Nulls BTC. So let's add this to our list. So copy that. So let's go to our list. We need to check off the active box, enter number eight, and the exact symbol name. We have eight, decimal, eight symbol decimals, so enter eight right here in this column, and then click on save to file. Because we've already saved the file, we can just load it for trading, so just click on load from file. And the Binance, Binance symbol is already there. So we now need to find its name on Huobi. So let's go back to Crypto Trader, open Huobi. And click on symbols, select manage symbols. And use the filter to find out the symbol name and the number of decimals used by the exchange. And this is how we can add additional altcoins um, that we that we would like to trade. Now there's one important thing that I would like to point out. Make sure that you add a small number of altcoins on Binance uh, so that you can cover your commission fees. Every time you buy altcoins in exchange for Bitcoins, the exchange will charge you a small commission fee. Equally, when you decide to sell your altcoins, you'll be charged again. So you should have enough altcoins to cover uh, all of these fees. In this case, you can just add a small amount to each altcoin that you would like to trade in Binance or any other exchange that you would like to use. So I will now show you how to add our pair to latency arbitrage. So select the sessions, one is Binance and the other is Huobi. Select the lot size, which depends on the price of the altcoin. I recommend entering large values for slippage and maximum spreads in order to avoid uh, trade rejections. Because we will be buying altcoins in Binance in exchange for Bitcoins, we should check off only allow buy. Uh, while on the other side, on the Hobie side, we want to choose only allow sell. 
Also, we need to check out the virtual box for Huobi. That is because we will not be trading in Huobi. We will only be trading in latency mode on the Binance side. So we check out virtual for Huobi. Uh, the profit mode should be set to currency. And difference to open should be set to 2% and difference to close to 20%. All the other parameters can be set the same way that I'm doing it right now. You can use the values that, that I'm using, just do the same thing. We need to enter a commission level and then add a label to the pair. So for example, let's go with this. If you have other altcoins that you'd like to use, you would set them up exactly the same way. So that's it. Um, again, Huobi is, uh, we can click on OK. Um, Huobi is set to virtual. Uh, so that means that the software will trade in latency mode on the Binance side only. And to reiterate, on Binance, you should have a Bitcoin balance but also a small altcoin balance for each altcoin that you would like to trade in order to be able to pay your commission fees. So everything is connected right now and we can see the difference, the, the current difference. Should this difference become higher than the difference to open, the software will open a buy order to buy altcoins. When the market changes, the altcoins will be sold. And that's it. Thank you for your time and happy trading.